Following the consideration of the PTF's seventh interim report by President Muhammadu Buhari, the third phase of the ease of lockdown will be for the next four weeks with continuation of the nationwide curfew. Meanwhile, railway services are to resume fully, markets are to resume fully on all days, mass gatherings are allowed for only 50 persons, while amusement parks, gyms and event centers can now reopen at half capacity. Bars and nightclubs are however to remain closed while public and civil servants below grade level 12 are still advised to work from home. Schools remain closed as far as the PTF is concerned but what we intend to do is to work with state governments as well as, as the federal to make sure that a proper risk assessment is made of every school that will open. That's the most important element. If you say every school open, different schools will have different levels of compliance. So the first stage is for state authorities to look at the level of preparedness of their schools. The PTF believes that while Nigeria is not ready for full reopening of the economy, there has been sufficient progress to warrant significant further relaxation of the restrictions applied. The main trust of the recommendation is that Nigeria advances to the third phase of ease restrictions with further amendments to address economic, social political, and health concerns. The Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 took the national briefing to the new international terminal of the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport as a statement of confidence that all is set for the resumption of international flights this Saturday. Some airlines are however barred from flying into the country. Number one, Air France is not approved. Now the reason for Air France is that tourist visa holders are not allowed entry. KLM not approved for the same reason as Air France. The initial six-month mandate of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, which will elapse this September, has been extended to December 2020 by President Muhammadu Buhari in Abuja, Mitaire, Iqben, NTA News.